Today on Us Weekly's Reality Recap, Jax Taylor doesn't hold back with his thoughts about Scandal. I think he's going through something. I think, I don't want to say midlife crisis, but he's definitely going through something. And Captain Jason reveals how he feels about being called Captain Hottie. I'd rather be Captain McHottie than, or Captain McCutie than Captain Mach. <laughs> And Craig Conover denies kissing Sonia Morgan. Tom Sandoval confirmed that he's part of the cast for Vanderpump Rules. And we break down the feud brewing between Courtney and Kim Kardashian. All that plus so much more on today's Us Weekly's Reality Recap. Hey guys, Christina Yarbald here with Us Weekly executive producer Mandy DeCamp. And we got some big Vanderpump news. We're going to dive into some Kardashians. Uh, lots to get to. Yeah, we don't normally talk about Kardashians on the show. So let us know what you think. If you're like, please no, stick to Bravo. We will. <laughs> but thought we'd dabble this week because this this feud is brewing. And it's it's been, um we've written about it quite a bit yeah. on Christine.com. Yeah, yeah. It's good to switch it up every now and then. Um, before I do, uh, let's talk about what you guys have to say, say about last week's show. Anna Brown says, I agree with you that Summer House should try giving us footage in the city Monday through Friday, too. Not just the Hamptons, but both. Yeah, I mean, they got to do something because uh, yeah. I don't even know if last season was just so stale because we were just so immersed with Scandal. Yeah. Um, I, I, maybe I'd have to go back and rewatch it um, yeah. to see if it really was that boring. Boring, but I don't know. Something's got to change. Something's got to change. But I think, and I totally agree, they should be in the city yeah. during the week. This is why we originally liked the show and why they originally had the show. Mm. The problem with the people on it right now is most of them don't have city jobs anymore. Right. Do they even have there. jobs? <laughs> like <laughs> Lover Boy is the you know the right. one thing. Yeah. Um, but even Sam, who was new last season, you know, she used to work at Cosmo, I think. Yeah. But then mm. now they just labeled her as a content creator online, which is sometimes another word for influencer. Right. So yeah, I feel like they need to recast it with people who are actually working in the city in finance and, you know, a law office, whatever it is, but yeah, we'll see. But at summer, uh, it was just confirmed that summer house Martha's vineyard is coming back for a season two. So that is something to look forward to as well. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, Pete says the summer house cast should lock Paige out of her bedroom all day till 10 PM. I stand by that 100% Pete. <laughs> I stand by it too. I think that we need to get her out of the bedroom and um, at least maybe into the kitchen. I don't know. Yeah. Like or at least or the living room, a different part yeah. of the house. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Carolyn says, I think you're being too tough on Schwartz. He found out about a one night stand. He told some stand of all that if it happens again, he needs to talk to Ariana. He was relying on scan to do the right thing. While this was all happening, he, his dad almost died. And one of the triplets was diagnosed with cancer and Katie asked for a divorce. Plus dealing with a bro code that is hard to break. Uh, Tom Sandoval burned his best friend by continuing with the affair. I don't like how everyone is ganging up on him. The cast should embrace and forgive him. Good. Lots of good points in there. Like he was dealing with a lot of things that were way bigger than his friend having what he thought at the time, a one night stand. I do think he knew about the full blown um, affair later on, but um, I, I agree. I don't really think that it was up to him to tell Ariana. I did forget about all the personal stuff he was going through. I remember talking about it a while ago and then it, we kind of forgot about it, but yeah, yeah. to bring it back up because he was like, we said, going through much bigger things. Yeah, totally. Um, okay. I don't know how to say this username, but I'm going to try Niflo fair Ooh. said, um, how can anyone say Katie's a bully when she's been bullied and gaslighted by both Tom's for years as for Rachel thinking it was over between Tom and Ariana. Why? Because Tom told her that to get her into bed. Are you for real? Stop treating your followers like idiots. <laughs> Some of her <laughs> harsh in the comments last week, but I, uh, yeah, we got some harsh comments. Um, <laughs> you know, sorry, we're just two moms talking about reality TV. Yeah. Yeah. Some people <laughs> that may have called us middle-aged moms, but you know, we're, we're strong. We're all good. <laughs> We love it. We love it. We're still here. <laughs> We're still here. All right. Let's get into the news of the week because this is quickly becoming one of my favorite stories. Yes. Um, Paige DeSorbo is unfazed by Sonia Morgan's claim that she hooked up with um, her boyfriend, Craig Conover. As we know, she's been dating Craig since uh, the summer of 2021. I can't believe it's been that long. Um, she shared her thoughts in the comment section of uh, Best Buy Bravo, um, in which Sonia said that she once had a little TT with Craig. Uh, she 
Paige commented on the post saying, no, I'm peeing my pants. So Sonia made the remarks during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live with her crappy late co-star Luann. She said, um, after Luann said that she swapped numbers with Austin Kroll after they hung out once at BravoCon, Sonia chimed in to say that I did the other one referring to Craig. Um, Andy said, did you make out with Craig? And Sonia res then responded, well, we had a little tate a tate um, So some fans speculated in the comments section that Sonia was confusing um, Craig with Whitney. Oh uh, one Instagram user wrote, I think she got Whitney and Craig confused. Patricia seemingly claimed that her Son and Sonia once hooked up. I forgot about this. Yeah, me too. Um, after an Instagram user commented, if only she would support her son coming out of the closet on a photo of Patricia. This was back in 2019. And Sonia um, on Bravo's Pride Float. Well, Patricia shot back. He's not gay. Asked Sonia. <laughs> Craig has now spoken out um, about this on his Pillows and Beer podcast, denying the kiss. So take a listen. You know, we had a little, you well, know, we had of, a little brush. Figure out a little if she brush with at you know, BravoCon. Yeah, because at BravoCon, I was like, but I like you, we, me and you showed up. No, on, no, like no, a no, lot no. of other people. I don't think that she's just talking about BravoCon. I think that uh, uh, Luann was talking about BravoCon, and gotcha. and then and then Sonia just kind of jumped in with like something you know that had happened like a while ago, and and I remember you telling me that you know that as big and fun and wild as Sonia, she like you know jumped in your lap, and you know yeah, but, she's aggressive. But, but no, look, yes. she's she's a bundle of fun, but. No, we have okay. Sony and I have not. So I so, so yes, as we heard, they both denied it, but it seems like Austin may be open to maybe something in the future Very with Luann. Very open. I don't know if he's just messing with us, but uh I would love to hear a Luann Austin make out rumor. Would love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, moving back to Scandival, Tom Sandoval has confirmed that he's part of the cast for Vanderpump Rules season eleven. Um, but he wouldn't say whether or not Raquel has been seen or spoken or whether or not he's spoken to Raquel since uh, production started. He spoke with back grid cameras in West Hollywood on Thursday saying I'm filming right now and whether or not he's been in touch with Raquel. He said, I can't comment on that. He did, however, promise fans that the new episodes would be worth watching. He said, it's going to be interesting no matter what it always is. Sandoval went on to claim that he and BFF Tom Schwartz are cool after rumors of tension between the two. He said, I just saw him today and um, we know that the business owners were seen filming what appeared to be a tense conversation at Tom Tom on Thursday together. Um, so interesting. Um, he didn't say much, but it was no. enough for me <laughs> to leave me intrigued. <laughs> it was enough. I mean, we still, there were some rumors going around that Raquel has definitely signed back on. We haven't confirmed that, but um, we still we still haven't seen Raquel since March. I mean, you know, it's been a really long time and, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully she's gotten the help that she needs, the help that she needs. But um, yeah, I, I just, I, we've talked about this time and time again, still don't know if this is the best decision for her to come back. And we don't really know in what capacity, maybe it's just a one-time thing, but Tom Sandoval is on board. So of course he is. He is. Yeah. He's not going to, he's not going to miss a beat. Let's no. be <laughs> Um, All right. Well, like we said before, we are going to talk a little bit about the Kardashians because there's been this rumor feud between Kim and Courtney for months, and we're now we're kind of we're seeing it play out, and it all revolved around um, Courtney claiming that Kim copied her wedding. So Kim and Courtney hashed out their issues while addressing Kim's Dolce and Gabbana collaboration. So she said, "It feels awful that my sister used my." Courtney said this. It feels awful that my sister used my wedding as a business opportunity. Who chose the money over me? That's why she never truly asked me. It's not that she forget. To, it's not that she forgets to ask me or thought I wouldn't care. I don't think she knew what to do if my answer was no. So Kim, for her part, pointed out that Kylie worked with um, Dolce & Gabbana as well, saying it's something specific with me and I can't figure out fully what it is. So Courtney revealed that she was upset because Kim planned this partnership with Dolce & Gabbana that seemed to be like inspiration from her wedding to Travis Barker. Kim argued that she tried to wait and see specifically to not choose items that Courtney wore during her second, during her wedding weekend, which was like her second or third wedding to Travis at that point. 
So Kim addressed her own frustrations during the series saying, I got married in Italy. Am I saying you copied me by getting married in Italy? In Italy? Who performed at my wedding? Andrea Pacelli. Who performed at Courtney's wedding? Andrea Pacelli. Um, Kim, of course, got married to Kanye back in 2014 in Italy. And she said, you stole my effing wedding country and my wedding performer. Andrea Pacelli is my favorite male singer of all time, but I am copying your Dolce Vita lifestyle. <laughs> um, Kim also told Courtney that other attendees called her wedding so sponsored due to the Dolce & Gabbana looks. Um, Kim noted that her wedding, uh, Courtney noted that her wedding wasn't about partnering with a brand for financial reasons. He says, it wasn't sponsored. I know that and I don't care what anyone thinks. I didn't make that choice for my wedding because of money. They were ultimately able to work out their differences after Kim apologized for not realizing how her professional venture affected Courtney. I don't know. I think they both have good points here. Um, yeah. It does seem like maybe... Courtney, you took some inspiration from Kim's wedding. Um, yeah. And then maybe Kim did see this as like kind of a business opportunity, but like, I don't, I don't know. This is so silly. Imagine fighting with so your sister silly. over Dolce and Gabbana. No. And Andrea more, Bocelli. Right. Uh, my favorite part about all this, I was going to say, is that Andrea Bocelli responded. Yes. He actually said, um, dear Kim Kardashian and Courtney Kardashian, I'm so flattered that you both love my voice and I'll always be able to sing to, for you. But no, there's a younger and far more helpful artist, Matteo Bocelli, who your mother at Kris Jenner also knows very well. See you soon in Tuscany. I love that. I mean, this is all ridiculous. I Part of me is like, are they just so savvy now i mean mm. that they just completely fabricated this storyline yeah. for the season of the show or is there really tension between them because they are pretty close in age they're only like 19 yeah. months apart mm -hmm. um they are sisters which you know there's natural probably competition between sure. them and family for sure especially with them being so close in age i if if it's fake like i said before they fooled me you know but right. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know it. either. This just seems so silly. I'm glad they worked out their differences. They yeah. seem fine now, but um I'm sure everybody's getting paid well by Dolce and Gabbana, or at least getting some beautiful clothes out of it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Like that's the thing. That's why it's just also silly. Like no one needs money in this family anymore. No one needs publicity anymore. Mm -hmm. But I'm still talking about them. Still talking about it. <laughs> All right, well, back to Bravo, where I'm most comfortable. Uh, Vanderbump Rules' Ariana Maddox is joining the cast of Dancing with the Stars. We sort of already kind of knew this. Yeah. It is now officially official. Um, she was the first cast member revealed ahead of season 32 of the ABC competition series, which will premiere this fall. The announcement um, was made during an episode of Good Morning America on July 7th. Derek Huff also joined Maddox in her and co-star Kitty Maloney's Something About Her sandwich shop for the big reveal. Very smart of them to very smart. They are like really doing this way, right. Yeah. I mean it's it's looks pretty good. Compared, it looks beautiful. It's a long way. It has. Um, so he teased this season on Dancing with the Stars. We are going to abs absolutely mad, mad for Maddox. He then added say goodbye to the drama and hello to the dance floor. Um, the remaining cast members of Dancing with the Stars will be revealed on Good Morning America on September 13th. Wow. What do you think? Uh, who do you want to see your partner with? Oof. I feel like she'll be partnered with Val. Yeah. they. I feel like the biggest stars always get like paired up with, yeah. with Val. And I feel like she probably has some moves. Um, yeah. And I think Val, especially after last season, losing out to Mark Ballas, I think that he really wants to win. And I think like so many people are going to vote for her. So my yeah. money's on Val. I would, I totally agree. Yeah. Or um, if Max came back, then she'd be with Max too. <laughs> Max too also. And I think Mark Ballas is not coming back. Mark Ballas is not coming back next yeah, season. So. Be, I'd like to see him with her too. I feel like he's a really good yeah. character and I feel like he is a good combo, but he won't be back. So yeah, Max or Val. Yeah. That's, that's what my mind Max is. or Val. Um, it's going to be, I, I'm, I'm excited for this upcoming season. Yeah. I feel like we're always over so oversaturated with like, you know, Bachelor and things like yeah. that. It's nice that Dancing with the Stars like is one season, takes a break, makes us miss it. And I'm yeah. ready for it to come back. It's I like it. It's obviously successful. What did I, how many seasons is it? 32. 32. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we got new hosts next season, Alfonso, Julianne Huff. So it should be, it should be good. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, um, keep on talking about Scandal because we caught up with Jax Taylor and he's never afraid to tell you exactly what is on his mind. Um, he gave his thoughts on Tom and whether or not he thinks that it would be a good idea for Raquel to come back. Take a look. Have you heard from Sandoval since he texted Brittany about going to the show? Wait, you heard about that? Yeah, I think it wasn't. I think she talked about it on the, um, oh, the podcast. podcast. Yeah, yes. yeah. I, you know what? His his tone deafness and self and unawareness and selfishness 
is just on another level. You know, I mean, I have a lot of friends, you know, in a group and I'm not the type of person that says you shouldn't be friends with that person, but you know, we're all on the same page when it comes to him. I think he's just, something's going on upstairs. I think he's got a few screws loose personally. Um, but he also, you know what, maybe he's going through something that nobody knows about too. I, I'm trying to look, I'm trying to look at the other side of it. Um, but I think he's just extremely tone deaf right? for calling my wife and asking for him to go, my wife, go to her concert. I, I mean, I don't, I, I have no words almost like I, what are you doing? Kind of thing. You know, I just, I just don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think he's going through something. I think, I don't want to say midlife crisis, but he's definitely going through something. I think he's had a little bit of a diva mentality on the show where kind of things where nothing could touch him. And I think he kind of bit off a little more than he can chew. And I think he's kind of realizing it now where he needs to step down a little bit. Mm -hmm. What he needs to do is go away for a while. Yeah. Go away and bow out, stay away from social media, stay away from the band, go sit out for a month or two, go figure yourself out and then come back stronger and, and better. That's yeah, what do I you, do. You That's think that opinion. he can do that? Or do you think no. he's almost liking this? No, he's too uh, selfish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's all about himself. Yeah. What yeah. do you think of his band? What do I think of his band? Yeah. Um, uh, next question. Okay. Well, what do you think that it would be wise for Raquel to come back? We don't obviously don't, we don't know, uh, what the future holds for her on the show yet? But I have no idea who she is. I have no idea. I've talked. I talked. I spoke to Raquel maybe two times in my life. I have no opinion either way with her. Um, I just hope the best for her. Yeah. Do you do you think that it would be healthy for her to come back to the show? No, absolutely not. No. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. There's there's nothing healthy about reality TV for anybody. Mm -hmm. right. But let's be honest. It's it could be a very toxic place. Mm -hmm. So. You know, not only do you have to, you know, film this stuff, then you got to watch it again on TV and then you got to hear about it from everybody in the world with social media. So it's a tough place. You need to have thick skin, you know, real, real thick skin. And I think she dove into something that personally, in my opinion, I think she dove into something that was a little bit bigger than her. And yeah, that's what I think. I don't yeah. think she's mentally tough enough to be in something like this personally. Did you feel bad for her after the reunion, after that, you no. know, those last? No, no, I don't feel bad for anybody. We all stepped in this game together. We all know what we're doing. We all started, signed on the dotted line. I don't feel bad for anybody. This is, you know, this is what you signed up for. Now you got to own it. Mm -hmm. So no, I don't feel bad. Not for one person on the show. Mm -hmm. What are you Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> well, no, or myself. I don't feel for even the stuff I went through. I don't feel bad for myself. It's no. You know, the path I chose. Yeah. I have to agree with Tom, uh, with Jax. Don't think it's the healthiest for Raquel, but. I mean, she's a grown woman, can make her own decisions. <laughs> My favorite part about Jax is that when you asked, you know, about Raquel, he interrupts you and he goes, I, I don't know her. I don't know her. I've met her maybe twice. And then he goes off on a tirade about her. It's like, I, I, love, yeah. I do enjoy um, interviewing Jax because like there were like words that I said in the interviews. I don't like that word. I'm like, Okay, Jax, <laughs> whatever you say, oh, um, but he's always a joy and wouldn't give us the scoop on whether or not he's coming back um, to Vanderpump or the, the spinoff that's rumored, but my money is on him uh, returning to reality TV. For sure. And he looks good. I mean, he looks great. He just said he was celebrating his 44th birthday while we were yeah. talking. Um, you know, he's happy. He and Brittany are really happy yeah. planning for baby number two. So good for them. Yes. We also chatted with Aisha and Captain Jason from Below Deck Down Under, and he revealed what he thinks about his nickname that fans have given him. So take a look. Do you get flattered, embarrassed a little bit of both when uh, people still call you Captain McCotty or when maybe when some of the crew or the guests um, are a little, you know, flirting a little bit? <laughs> it's all it's all great fun. Yeah. It, the, one thing I got out of BravoCon is that all the audience are just pretty damn good people, you know, mm. and they're just enjoyable and they're happy. And, and you know, anything that they want to bring on me, I'm more than happy. They all they all say it in a nice way, and you know, I'm not getting bad flack. I'd rather be Captain McHotty than, or Captain McCutie than Captain Mach <laughs> oh, you'd rather that than people like throw up a little bit when they see you. <laughs> right, that's true. I mean, I agree with that nickname. I agree. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> 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 but it's better like that he said like it's better than like captain not hot or something like that so uh, 
It could be worse. Totally. <laughs> All right, let's check in with our social spotlight of the week. Mine did go to Ariana Maddox because she and Derek Huff posted this really cute video um, when they were announcing Dancing with the Stars. So take a quick look. Do you have any sandwiches? Yeah, you're in luck. Today we have a few specials on the menu. Okay. We have the Cha Cha Club, the Mirabal Meatball Sub, the Ballroom BLT, and the Tango Tuna Melt. So what would you like? Wow, what a totally unplanned coincidence that all those sandwiches sound like dances. All the sandwich talk is making me think about Dancing with the Stars, and I think you'd be fantastic on the show. What are you doing this fall? Nothing! Nothing? Yeah! You wanna do it? Let's do it! <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> Alright! I'm in! Well listen, I'll take the Chacha Club, and uh, I'll see you this fall, okay? Meanwhile, while we're waiting for the Chacha Club sandwich to come out, wanna dance? Yeah! Let's do it! Come on in! Yeah, she's totally leaning into this, and I love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And again, that sandwich shop, it's just so cute. It's so cute. What about you? Um, mine, well, kind of goes to Ariana as well. Um, <laughs> it was a post by her uh, BFF Logan. It's her dancing in a crowd. They're obviously filming for the new season. Yeah. So they're Tom Tom dancing um, to Unwritten, of course, the Hills theme song. Uh, James Kennedy is DJing and they all just seem to be living their best freaking lives best life. I love like James giving a little twerk there too at the end. Um, I, it's, I wonder if it's like weird for her to go back and like film at Tom Tom. You know, this is your ex's uh, restaurant. Like, I don't are know. you supporting them by going? Right. Yeah. And then, oh, there's Tom Schwartz there too, filming yeah. with Sheena. Yeah, this is a great clip. Way to go, S Weekly, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> for posting this. Uh, no, I, I'm ready for this. It's going to be a really good, it's going to be an interesting season. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how the dynamics shift and what where Sandoval and Raquel kind of fit into all of this. Definitely. Wait, I can't wait. All right, well, that is it for this week's episode of Reality Recap. Let us know in the comments, are you team Kim or team Courtney? Should we be talking more you about care. the Kardashians? <laughs> do you care? Yeah, um, what do you think of Ariana? Yeah, what do you think of Ariana joining Dancing with the Stars? Tom coming back for season 11. Lots to chat about, so keep commenting, keep subscribing, and we'll see you guys next week. For more news, content, and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below, and visit usmagazine.com.